Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about how to create custom table view cells uh, with image and text. So we have very customized the cell inside our table view. Also, you need to know that uh, always there is a link to the source code of this project in comments. Okay, we're gonna start our project, but before that, I will show you how will be our output. So you will be, you will see that uh, we have uh, one image, uh, one title, and one text here. And uh, yes, even if we uh, rotate our, uh, you know, device, still it will be in good shape. Okay. Uh, let's uh, start our project. So I stop this one and I say file new project single view app iOS Swift and uh, yes uh, UI table view and uh, gonna be yes custom with image, for example. Or we can say custom image and text, for example. Okay, I create this one in final iOS Swift directory and I'll go to main storyboard. The fun part is here, I, will, uh, I really like it, it's pretty easy. So what we do, we just uh, say, okay, I need a table. I put this table view here, and uh, then I say, okay, stick this table view to corners all with zero. Yeah, here you go, it's gonna fill all area. And then we need a cell for that. I put cell in there, in identifier, I name this cell, cell with a small c and okay now I need to set up my inside my cell so let me make it a little bit bigger to make it quickly here we go uh, so uh, what I need here I want to put one image there yes so I put image here okay for image uh, I uh, go to this uh, attribute actually uh, mm, size inspector and I say why it gonna be 100 high gonna be 100 and start from uh, for example 2 2 and uh, y x2 and y2 so it's gonna be like this okay so my cell also need to be uh, you know to have uh, you know enough uh, white for that so uh, for my cell I say uh, high high will be you know this, this is 100 5 on top 5 on button so uh, here you go uh, high is 105 it's good for us okay so for image also uh, I'm gonna tight it to be same size always so I'm gonna say width and height gonna be 100 okay so I made this one also I'm gonna uh, see make sure that this is stick to the corners at, at you know top left and down uh, so I do this and I say yes two with this two with this and two with this so these three constraints okay so now I need to add two labels so the first label gonna be title of this and I'm gonna put it here and I make it you know like this and uh, I say this label I come to attribute I say yes make it something like 20 and uh, let, let's give it a color so I make it uh, you know dark blue and uh, yes I need another label which gonna be our description of this so I'm gonna put this one like this as well okay so now we need to position this actually make uh, where this uh, gonna sit so this one uh, you know from yeah 
so I say uh, stick this one to top not with zero with same two to the left which is my image again two and uh, at this time make this one ten from uh, this side ten and from button no and no, uh, you know not yet okay so this gonna be stick to all these three contour and uh, you know corners and this label I can say same so this uh, but from all sides so I'm gonna say two from button 10 from uh, left I leave that one I give 10 10 from r right and left and from top two okay so now we have everything uh, you know in in place there's that we like to be okay so now uh, we need to make uh, one uh, you know for this cell we need to make a controller so I say new file and I say this cocoa touch gonna be the cocoa touch and I say table view cell UI table view cell from type of you know subclass of UI table view so make sure to choose UI table because this is for cell you can name it this uh, something else if you like language Swift yes so I make this one okay in my uh, controller and actually cell controller what I need I need one image and two label but this time I want to use uh, assistant editor so I come to my main storyboard call assistant editor before that let me close this one I choose my cell and in my cell in uh, identity inspector I will say table view cell will be controller of this cell okay so now I is supposed to when I uh, you know choose this cell and I call assistant editor we have that cell but you will see that bring for us view controller no problem we will come here click on this automatic instead I say manual and I'll sorry uh, so and this article will say manual and we will go and choose our table view cell okay so uh, you will now we have that one here okay I, I'm gonna close this one and uh, do it so from image I just say control drag here and I just need to name my image oh yes it's not coming yet so let's we need to figure it out what is the control drag yeah it's coming I need to select it okay so outlet cell week and the type of UI image correct everything so image cell okay and from this label which is my title so control drag here I name it uh, yes it's the object cell UI label and I name it title label for example 01 okay I need some space here so from this one control drag here I say yes outlet cell UI label and I name it text label 02 okay yeah uh, so uh, we made our cell controller and we uh, did uh, already they are connected so I'm gonna close assistant editor for now or I can uh, come here and uh, I say okay for, I'm going for connecting my uh, table view because I need to connect this one so I come back here and manual this time I will all go to my uh, view controller gonna be 
control of this so from uh, my table I'm gonna control drag to just here on top of view did load outlet to UI table view and I name it table view okay so let me close assistant editor so here also I need to do some important things from table view control drag to this yellow button and make it data source self and again from table view control drag make it delegate self also you can uh, you know we will do this actually double times if, uh, which is not required but I just do it uh, because you folks need to get used to do that so you always need to come here when you work with table view and say table view dot delegate equal self and table view dot data source equal self also uh, we need to extend our class so here we will uh, to be able to communicate with uh, table view so ui table view delegate so two sub uh, super class ui table view data source but as soon as we do this we will ask okay if you want to do that you need to have uh, you know confirm to protocol this actually you need to have uh, extra functions I'm not gonna fix it here but otherwise it's gonna add two uh, functions on top of this I'm gonna add functions myself so I show you it's gonna add three uh, it's, uh, it's, we need to add three functions there the first one is a uh, number of uh, sections so yes it's gonna be one the second one is number of rows but uh, number of row is in signatures table view with number of row and here we need to return what we need to return we need to come here we need to create an array it's going to be our table uh, going to be our table uh, Uh, you know, uh, actually, we need to add three array: yeah, one array for image, one array for uh, title, and one array for uh, description. Yeah, so I'm gonna copy this uh, from project that I already did, and you saw, uh, you know, uh, output of that in the simulator. So I'm gonna command C here, and then going back here I'm gonna add them here so you will see this is the titles this is descriptions and this is image uh, arrays okay so I made this and uh, for, uh, here I can uh, call each of them I'm gonna go by title so I say title f dot count so number of row will be number of element of array okay and uh, and uh, now uh, we we need to ask you uh, actually to make our last function our last function gonna make our cell so our uh, we will come here and say cell for yes table view with signature includes cell for row at index pad but uh, yeah in here uh, we gonna first of all say okay let's sell equal table view dot d q yeah here you will see we have uh, two different signature just with the identifier and with identifier index uh, I choose this one and here we'll identify I say cell this cell you may say what uh, where this come from it's from here so in our storyboard if you remember on cell v in an attribute tab v in identifier we said cell here so we're gonna use this identifier and here I say index paths okay and but 
This one is gonna, gonna just communicate uh, directly to, you know, it's for non-customized cell. But we have a customized cell, we have a controller for cell, we need to use that here. So here, I say this one as index path, and this one I'm gonna cast it to uh, my table view cell class okay okay now here I'm gonna add this cell info so I just say okay my cell in cell I image I say email I made image cell so image cell dot image will be self dot image F and here I say uh, pick up depend of index dot row okay and the cell dot title label zero one dot image no not either, sorry that image dot text dot text equal self dot this time title f with index path dot row and the last one cell dot text label zero two dot text equal self dot description f and again from index path dot row and uh, yes I need to return it just keep asking me yes please return it return it okay I'm gonna return it don't worry so return it return this cell that we made so I just need images here so I made those image exactly same as it's in the you know in my array and I uh, copy them in uh, assets directory and uh, we seems to be fine so let's run it see everything uh, will gonna be good or we will need to fix something okay so you you saw you know now my yeah here you go we have it oh yeah, there is something yes this text you will see that it's went to uh, you know under this uh, because uh, for label we need to customize it so I'll go to my uh, you know you will see it's only in one line so I come here in main storyboard I choose this label this one and I say okay I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller to make sure that uh, it's good enough room and also I'm gonna say number of line zero so how many line you like and line break I say wrap it by what okay I stop it and run it again this time let's see if the output will be convinced for us or not yeah here you go uh, that's all for today I hope you like this yeah you will see in both Landscape and portraits our solution is work. Okay, uh, that's all for today. I hope you like it. If you like it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to receive uh, this uh, kind of videos uh, and tutorials. And uh, don't hesitate to ask your question in comment below. I will more than happy to help and I wish the best for you and have a good one. Bye bye.